The water may be on its way down, but the sight of Cedar Rapids from the air is still breathtaking and overwhelming. It's easy to see why 20,000 people have been evacuated from the area. More than 400 city blocks are still underwater after the Cedar River crested Friday at 32 feet. That's 12 feet higher than the previous record. Preliminary damages are set at $737 million for Cedar Rapids alone, and hundreds of other communities have been flooded across the state. In downtown Cedar Rapids, massive high-rise buildings are still buried underwater, their basements and first floors destroyed. The city's infrastructure badly damaged as well. This railroad bridge now lies twisted and broken across the river, another facing incredible stress as the water and dozens of houseboats that broke free from upriver crash into it. Neighborhoods along the riverbank that typically don't flood are also covered with only rooftops showing. Some say it looks a lot like Hurricane Katrina, but there's a big difference. There are no people here. The water rose slowly over several days, and almost everyone had time to plan an escape. That's a good thing, too, because this is the Cedar Rapids Fire Department. While the water is receding, experts say it will be a couple of weeks before it's below flood stage, and it could be months before the entire area is cleaned up, years before it's all rebuilt. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, over Cedar Rapids, Iowa.